Lawmakers who represent the Valley in D.C. are working with Senators Ted Cruz and John Cornyn to build new international bridges in the Valley. One area where they support a new bridge is in Brownsville. Yeah, Channel 5's Stephanie Rosales is live near where that proposed bridge site is now. And Stephanie, where are you exactly and what's the holdup with the construction? We are at the intersection of Alton and Glor in Military Highway. If you follow this road, it will take you to where Cameron County wants to begin construction on the Flor de Mayo Bridge. The group of lawmakers who are pushing for its construction sent the president a letter. They want him to greenlight a permit that is needed. A busy bridge crossing in Brownsville. Semi drivers like Juan Alvarez use the Veterans International Bridge to cross goods into the country. Imagine how many of us cross in a day, Juan Alvarez says. While the wait was not as bad today as it has been in the past, he says he has had to wait up to four hours to cross before. Alvarez says he carries time sensitive products like car parts. They're already waiting for me at the cargo, he says. Alvarez says the wait times have made him get to his destination late before. A new bridge Cameron County is hoping to build could ease wait times. If approved, the bridge would strictly be for passenger vehicles and pedestrians. Even though it's not a commercial, it will not be a commercial vehicle, it will we'll still help the maquiladora industry because it will help their employees you know, get uh, from the U.S. to Mexico and vice versa. And so it will alleviate other bridges in, in downtown Brownsville that carry um, passenger vehicle today. Cameron County Administrator Pete Sepulveda knows just how beneficial it could be. It would be able to connect the maquiladora industry uh, between Brazil and Matamoros. And a lot of the management for those maquiladoras live in the U.S. side. Sepulveda says a presidential permit is needed before construction to begin. The county first applied for it two years ago. Before the administration issues the permit, they want the county to conduct an environmental assessment, one that will be costly. A little bit harder to justify to the public, saying, hey, we're going to invest a million dollars in preparing an environmental document, even though we don't have a presidential permit. Valley lawmakers who represent the Valley in D.C. are working alongside Senators Ted Cruz and John Cornyn to put pressure on the administration to approve the permit. With bipartisan support, Sepulveda is hopeful. Construction on a new bridge is in the future. An environmental assessment is expected to get underway in the next 30 days, but a presidential permit is still required before construction can begin. They are expecting to get some sort of answer in a few days. We will keep you updated with that. Live in Brownsville, Stephanie Rosales, Channel 5 News at 6.